Today, I'm at Glasgow's answer to Downton Abbey, Pollock House. But beneath its glamorous exterior lies a vile tale of voodoo, devil worship and witchcraft. Our story begins in the 1670s with Sir George Maxwell, Laird of Nether Pollock. He was an extremely religious man and he hated witches. In fact, his obsession with witches was so strong that he actually travelled across the country visiting witchcraft trials. And he had just returned from a witchcraft trial in Guruk when he suddenly became ill. His body was ravaged with high fevers and for several weeks he had chronic pains down his right side. There was a new servant starting at Pollock Estate. She was a mute and her name was Janet Douglas. She immediately became suspicious of her master's symptoms and she thought it was vile witchcraft. And so she pointed the finger of blame at the widow, Janet Mavy. The widow Mavy's house was searched and in the bedroom they found a doll, an effigy of Sir George Maxwell himself and according to legend, it was stuck through with muckle-long preens. Now, Janet Douglas claims that she saw Janet Mavy and five other servants of Pollock House dancing sky-clad in the witch's wood. Well, I don't know where the witch's wood is. So, I'm going to go and speak to Dr Joe Murray and ask him because he knows a lot more about this area. We're coming up to the Pollock Beach, or what some people know as the Witch's Beach. Would this be the Witch's Wood, then, with the Witch's Beach? I don't think so, not at that time, because that would be the 17th century. The, the, mm -hmm. the house would have been, been here at that time. So where the Witch's Wood is, I couldn't honestly say. We've got the North Wood over here. There's been a lot of woodland around here, so it could have been any one of those. Very famously, Janet Douglas, she actually uh, was obsessed with witches herself. Yes. Yeah. And she saw vile witchcraft everywhere she went. But she yeah. is the reason why I think six members of the household were actually arrested. Uh, yeah, I believe so, yes. Yeah. And taken off to, to the Green and Paisley, where the, they were. Yeah, the Gallo uh, Green. They were. Put to death in quite a brutal fashion as well, yeah. They were. She went across to Edinburgh after marrying a minister and she was accusing everybody of being a witch. Yeah. So she actually ended up being arrested for uh, malicious, malicious mischiefing. That's so the right, judge yeah. punished her by uh, basically sending her to the colonies. Perhaps uh, it was Janet Douglas that started off the witch trials of Salem. I think you may be right. To this day, people still believe that Pollock Estate is haunted by witches. <laughs>